What's going on YouTube? It's your boy King Said. And we're back with another video, man. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome and blessed day as always. I want to talk a little bit to you guys, man, about it's like a double video almost, man. It's gonna be a double video in one. We're gonna talk about New World. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you my first impressions of it. And also we're gonna talk about communities, man, and influence. Because I think this needs to be said. So, New World. Played a good bit of the beta, though you can see it in the background right now. Uh we live streamed it. It's a really good game. Really good game. Amazon games, they pretty much knocked this out the park. Um, it did get delayed to September 28th. Originally, it was supposed to come out August 31st, but it was really good. If you guys didn't play the Coles beta, I heard, highly encourage you to actually buy it, support the full game when it comes out. Really had an awesome time with this. Mainly because it was a different MMO. So most traditional MMOs are basically point and click. This one, it's like... The, what is the game I can compare it to? Probably like Demon Souls, Dark Souls type combat. Like you had to actually like, you, you had a dodge button. You know what I'm saying? Like you had to actually think. You know what I mean? And I, I I love that shit. I really love that shit. I love the PvP in it. PvP in it is really good, even though a lot of people, you know, have certain things to say about it. We're going to get more into that in a minute though. But yes, overall, I really enjoyed the game. It did have a few bugs, but we'll iron those out. So let's talk about influencers real quick. Big communities. Now, I'm not big on the MMOs, you know what I mean? This is my probably second MMO of all time. The first one was Final Fantasy XIV, and I literally, like, got lost in that MMO. I love that one. It's really good. I have been playing it since, like, I think it was 2013 when it came out on PS3. When the PS3 couldn't handle it, all the way until now, I still dibble and dabble in it every so often. But, yeah, man, influencers and big communities. So, we got a lot of, like, large influencers out there basically saying this game is trash, they expected that Amazon with trillions of dollars would be able to make a better game than this. And I'm, I'm looking at the situation like this. That's the most baseless argument I've ever heard. Just because a corporation has X amount of money don't mean they know how to make a game. No, they don't, they don't have nothing to do with it in my eyes. It's about your passion and your love. Are you really going to try your best to make this game work? Yes, this game has been in beta. It is a beta. B-E-T-A. One step up from alpha. It even says that in the top right right now. It's a beta. Calm the fuck down, man. Like, a lot of people saying, oh, it's filled with glitches. Oh, it's X, Y, and Z. Like, it's a fucking beta. And they're taking time to polish these games. They're trying. Just because it's a trillion dollar company don't mean a damn thing. You have, you gotta have actually have passion. You have to love to do You have to have a love to do this shit. You know what I mean? And I feel like they do. There was a lot of things, of course, that needs to be, you know, changed in the game. But there was a lot of things I've seen that is very, very, very positive about the game. I just see a lot of hate and my thing is like you got a lot of followers out here which they, they, they follow the big streams so if a big streamer say hey this game is trash y'all falling right along with them. yeah this yeah, that game is trash I don't, even though you probably actually love it because this guy who was way up here is saying it is trash you're just following whatever he say and I don't think that's right because now this game is being shit on in a bad way and it doesn't deserve that these guys that are making this game, they're very passionate about it. Even taking a, another month, I know it's going to be a hell of a wait. There's plenty of other games coming out until then. They're taking another month to polish the game up, man. Like, cut these guys from slack, man. Seriously. So let's talk about another hot take. The PvP skeleton in this game. So you got a lot of people saying, oh, the PvP skeleton is shit. Especially the big influencers. Goes back to what I was just saying. So basically how it works. You got this level 15 guy right here. You got this level 60 guy way up here so if they flag each other for pvp the level 15 guy gets scaled to the level 60 guy whoever has the highest level gets scaled to that level so a lot of the big name guys are complaining about that because they actually have to work to beat them it ain't just power level yourself having all the best gear and yeah i'm gonna win no you actually have to work for it now and a lot of people have a problem with that me personally i think it's, it's fucking amazing it's fucking amazing because these guys who are streaming this or doing this shit for a living who have all the time in the world to hit level 60 in this beta, which is fucking crazy because leveling in this game is really fucking slow. Really slow. I think I put in maybe close to 10 hours, if not 10 hours in this game. I didn't put in a lot of hours, but I only hit like level 17 when the beta was ended. That's me putting like 10 hours in. It, it's, it's a slow grind, man, but it was rewarding. I really appreciated it. But, um... Yeah, man, the PvP scan, a lot of big name streamers saying they hate that shit and all that. So now you got the guy who, say me, for example, who spent only 10 hours with the game, 
at the level 17, but had a good grasp of the controls, a good feel for everything. So I know when I come across a PvP player, I stand a chance. You know what I mean? Especially with the build that I was going with. And then you got the level 60 guy, who's, I'm not taking anything away from him. He's probably very skilled. But then you have some that's not skilled, that's just fucking power level all to be damned. And they're pissed because they're getting their ass beat by a level 17 or a level 20 when they're a level 60 max and they put 2,000 plus hours in the fucking game. I'm just spitballing the number. You're mad, why? It's one of those scenarios, get better at the game. Get better or get lost. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like because cause Amazon Games, I don't think they're going to change that aspect of the game. Because there's a lot of other guys that's basically told them, hey, you know, this is amazing. Keep it to where it is. I'm not going to mention any of these guys. I don't want any clout. I'm just stating, you know, things. And it just doesn't even revolve around this game. There's other games, too, that have this, this same effect, like Guilty Gear Strive, for example. I am in, so in love with that game. I wish I had more time to actually sit down and play it more and get more invested in it. But one of the big fighting game guys basically said, hey, you know, I'm bored with Guilty Gear Strive. We're going to play something else. His entire community, here we go. Yeah, we're bored with it, too, man. We're going to go play something else as well. It's like, dude, like it's, it's a follow the leader type scenario, and I wish it wasn't like that. When I was growing up, everything was so different when it came to that. But now it's like, you know, what this guy says goes, we got to go with this. Play the game. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. It's $39.99, which, in my opinion, well worth it. New World. It's well worth it. It's well worth $39.99. Play the game. It's just make your own assumptions, man. This game is so vastly different from anything I've played. I've got a few people that I work with. I got them into the game. One of the guys that you can see right now that I'm playing with, you know, Rising Ashes, it's the guy I work with. He plays the game now. And this is not his style, but he was like, man, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I think I found my game. And I was happy to hear that, man. Like, And it's just a beta. We don't know what's coming next. You don't know what they have planned. Apparently, the map is only, what, not even half of what they really want to do? Now, one of the biggest gripes I will probably say, because there is negatives to everything, is the walking system. There's a lot of damn walking in this game. To get from point A to point B, a lot of walking. You're going to be walking your ass off. There's no mounts in the game yet. But that's like, that's a little small, right? You know what I'm saying? It takes a while for you to fast travel back to like an inn, say at a town you're at. Uh, I think it takes an hour. But other than that, if they add mounts to the game, the game is damn near perfect, in my opinion. I'm thoroughly, I thoroughly enjoyed my time with it. Oh, um, yeah, man, I just had, I had to get this shit off my chest, man. It's, it's so annoying to watch all these big influencers just shit on the game. And, and one of them, I, I can't mention his name because I don't want any fucking cloud. I don't want none of that. But he just pissed me off so bad. I was actually following this guy. I just stopped following him. I, I, I can't, I can't be a part of that, dude. Like you're too fucking negative, and we, we don't promote nothing but positivity around here. But yes, new world. If you're interested in MMOs or you want to dive into MMO, I highly suggest this game, man. These guys are working very hard in this game. I got a good feeling about it. When September 28th hit, we get the full version. I know it's going to be insanely polished, man. You guys give it a try. There's also going to be another game, man, the day before. They actually released something on their Twitter. I'm going to put it on the screen now. In case you guys know about this game, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Go check this game out. I think these guys were watching New World's beta and trying to take tips. This game is going to be amazing as, as, as well. Like, seriously, man. But uh, that's all I really wanted to say, man. I just wanted to really get this shit off my chest. It's been eating away at me for a while. We got a lot of content coming to the channel. I know I've been kind of stagnant with the content. I still got to... Uh, I've been playing Splitgate a little bit. I, I fucking love that game. It scratches that Halo itch. It's so good. So, so good. But I post a couple videos on that. Uh, I actually got invited to Tom Clancy's X Defiant Beta, but I cannot post anything about that right now. But when that embargo is lifted, I will definitely be putting it on the channel. Back for Blood Beta, we're going to be doing that. We're going to be having streams and videos on that later on this week as well and into next week. And the Rocker Blade Point, that comes out next week as well. Another Battle Royale. I have that pre order It's going to be ready to go. We got a lot of content coming, man. Make sure if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that sub button. And also, if you enjoyed the video, man, you enjoyed my take on different perspectives, like the video, bro. Please. And until next time, man, it's been your boy King Said. I'm out. Peace. I, I thought you knew.